Hi guys, Lars here. Uh, I'm right now in Grevelkund, down by the lake here, uh, the end of the south end of the lake. And then here you have uh, the Sjöstugan, a cafe and where you can stay the night and camp and so. And I'm going for a two day hike, sleeping in tent, and I will cross over the river here and go up in the mountains and cross the border to Norway and um, find my way to the north side of the, the lake and uh, maybe if the weather is with us I'm uh, going to go up to one of the tops on the north end of the lake there so it started to rain when I drove up here from my home so it's about one hour drive and I go up here and uh, but now it's uh, almost stopped raining so and the forecast uh, says uh, that uh, in the afternoon the sun is going to come and uh, tomorrow is going to be, be ah, pretty good weather so I hope for that now we're crossing the river here on the bridge really beautiful place this is uh, the Grövland river and up here is uh, the south end of Grövelsjön Lake Grövelsjön and we are follow a trail up here then go up on the mountains on the north west side of the lake here and uh, to the north side of the lake that's the plan we'll be camping out in the tent one night so i had all the gear with me in my Osprey 50 liter pack so food for two days and small tent and uh, sleeping system and so clothes of course and some camera gear as you can hear, I do this uh, video in English, or at least try to do it in English. Um, all my previous videos are in Swedish, but I have a lot of guests from when I'm guiding from other countries, like uh, English-speaking countries or French, Fr France or Belgium or Germany. And uh, I think English, English is the only other language that I can besides Swedish so I try to do more videos in uh, English from now I think all my Swedish friends and guests and followers uh, on media channels uh, understand the English pretty well so, yeah now I'm actually walking in the footstep of Carl von Linnea, if you know him, famous Swedish guy. He did this travel through Dalarna and uh, walked on this, uh, this way up on the mountain at uh, 1734 with uh, some friends of course. And he was out looking for flowers, animals, people who lived here and documented everything. Uh, and now this is called the Linnea Trail, this uh, trail from Sjöstugan up to the Norwegian border and beyond. So I'm going to follow this uh, trail and cross the border to Norway. Okay, now we reached the border to Norway. We're going to continue along this trail. So it's a uh, really foggy conditions so I don't see so far but that's no problem so I live in this area and uh, find myself around uh, almost in the dark so it starts raining a little bit again so I maybe uh, I will put on my rain jacket again uh, I ate a little bit up on the mountain and got a little hungry so it's about uh, the clock is actually uh, almost uh, one o'clock, so uh, some lunch. So lunch um, for the first day of hike is just uh, make, made some sandwiches at home. Uh, so I'm sitting here by a small creek running here. So actually a lot of water in the mountains right now because it has rained a lot the last days. But that's a good thing. It was really dry before the, the last rain here, so that's really good. Rain 
deers up here. And a few up there on the ridge. And uh, just close here also. I'm going to cross here. So I wait for them. They can cross the trail first and then I continue my hike, I think. Also met some people. They Ah, the weather is actually getting better and better and I now there are some blue skies and, and really good views and now I'm actually at the last here yeah, it is Salsfjellet Salsfjellet and the highest peak of Salsfjellet is somewhere over there and I'm going over a pass here down to the valley on the other side of Salsfjellet Really nice day started in rain but now that is forgotten so now it's really really great look at the view Really nice weather right now. A uh, lot of blue sky above me. Uh, found a find a really nice spot here also. Yeah, for uh, maybe I take a coffee break here actually. But they're really good camping spots here. So if you are out um, hiking with the tent, this is the place to be. Norwegian mountain station over there, Sukkuriset, and I'm actually heading for the mountains over there. So see how far I can get today. Uh, plan is to go a little bit up there and uh, hope to find some water in the small creeks there. So maybe I can camp up there and then make uh, if the weather is right. Uh, go over the top tomorrow and down uh, on the other side. That's the plan. Yeah, now I'm hiking down into the forest here and uh, crossing the forest uh, in that direction, heading for the mountain over there. So. As you can see, there are uh, some river crossing uh, during this route that I hike now, but they are rather small creeks. But um, it was raining a lot the last days, and these are almost dry some during the summer, otherwise. But um, now there are a little bit of water, so it's good to have a uh, little higher boots on, and you just can cross over. So we see if we find a way over here maybe. Little bit slippery rock here. Well, I'm hiked up through the forest and uh, almost uh, up uh, above the tree line. So we come from that direction. So we come from the mountains over there down to the forest and uh, right through here. In a straight line and you see it is really rocky terrain yeah, but um, we are gonna go in that direction and there's a trail actually coming from the valley there and going on this side of this mountain so we uh, going on going to the trail and follow that oh happy 
helping me find some a lot of blueberries right now so never go faster than you can pick a blueberry or two or a handful at least oh it's, uh, it's really tasty so from the maybe middle of july to oh, middle of august right now or august um, late august then the blueberry season is on and you also can see uh, crawberries here so this on on the needle thing here is uh, um, crawberries and then you have blueberries over there so crawberries can, you can also eat them but they don't uh, they are not so tasteful as uh, they don't taste as much as uh, blueberries but now I'm hiking on the trail again so now I want to follow that down to a small lake White train there over there. Okay, found a great camp spot. So here I put up on my tent. Take it from this side so you can see the view. Tent. Small lake rather high up so we have the mountain that we're gonna go up tomorrow over there and uh, put my tent there we have this lake and then we have this uh, small stream that we followed up up here uh, just behind here so uh, maybe not the lake to take a swim in but uh, it's really not much water but uh, I will wash myself a little bit. A little bit warm and sweaty, so. Good morning. This is my warm and cozy sleeping bag. It's a little, little bit chilly here in the, in the shadow, but if I turn the camera, you see the that the sun is on its way up and has reached the mountain on the other side and uh, perhaps soon it will also warm up my tent spot but I think I'll take my breakfast in the, in the sleeping bag actually it's nice and warm my camp. The plan now is to go a little along the side of the small lake and then follow the ridge up there to that mountain and then up to Grötogna over there.
really windy up here today. mountain in the, the back here is the last one we went up to. Yeah, now I'm uh, down in the valley, a little bit above uh, the lake Gravelkön here. And here is, um, I'm still in Norway, so the border to Sweden goes up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna take a lunch break down here by a small creek running down here, and then hike up uh, and uh, over to Sweden and then follow the mountainside back to Gravelkön. Yes, uh, now we cross the border to Sweden. Uh, so here is the, actually the, the border along the fence here. And you can see like a big stone over there. That's the mark of the border. So along the border between Sweden and Norway there are also a lot of stones like that. Uh, the fence is actually for the reindeer. So you have, we are in Sapmi right now, so uh, you have a one, one Sapmi village on the Norwegian side and uh, another one on the, on the Swedish side. So they uh, put up this fence for the, the reindeers. So the reindeers are the Norwegian reindeers keep on the Norwegian side and the Swedish reindeer keep on the Swedish side. Yeah. That's Okay, end of this hike. I'm back at uh, Sjöstugan, uh, up here, and uh, my car is parked just there. After. So, it was a nice trip, uh, long day today. I'm really a little bit tired in my legs, but a uh, really nice trip. Uh, thank you for uh, follow, and uh, if you like to film, make a thumb up, or if you don't like it, make a thumb down and maybe some comment. Uh, and also, it's uh, really inspiring uh, to have the followers on YouTube. So, uh, if you press the premonition button, uh, I get a lot of energy to more, do more films. So, thank you. Bye bye.